This presentation is part of the section uh, Best Clinical Trials of the Year, where uh, EBMT organized at the end of the annual meeting uh, very brief uh, summaries of uh, most uh, critical advances uh, in the last year in different areas that are relevant for uh, uh, bone marrow or hematopoietic uh, stem cell transplantation field. Here we talk about a first uh, in history approved uh, drug for systemic therapy of chronic graft versus host disease. The significance of uh, this event uh, is uh, illustrated by the fact that uh, this uh, is a result of a communal effort from uh, about a decade and a uh, few years more of the bone marrow transplant community that came together uh, in 2004, in 2005, to create something that's called NIH Consensus Conference for Criteria in Clinical Trials for Chronic Graft versus Host Disease. At that time, it was recognized that the chronic graft versus host disease was a terrible and increasing problem, a new disease created by our treatments, but uh, we don't have good tools to address it. And Moreover, we didn't have at that time tools to do clinical research and clinical trials properly so that uh, well-planned studies could result uh, in uh, testing of new agents and hopefully approval of new agents for chronic graft versus host disease. Uh, this uh, 2005 conference was followed with the 2014 conference that resulted with uh, evidence-based uh, refined criteria. So at the same time, our knowledge and understanding because of this communal effort at national in the US, international with working uh, together with EBMT and other colleagues in Europe and around the world, uh, our knowledge and understanding of uh, bio biology of chronic graft versus host disease has dramatically increased as well very recently, maybe over the last five years or so, we have much better understanding that's coming together that the chronic graft versus host disease is a chronic disease uh, uh, of a chronically activated immune system that's misdirected. So sort of, a, of an autoimmune disease, we call it alloimmune disease because it's created by the new allogeneic donor transplanted immune system. The process results with the damage of target organs that can be multiply, um, uh, like eyes, mouth, uh, liver, uh, oral mucosa, and many others. And these signals of damage and inflammation then proliferate through the lymphatic organs, present target uh, antigens uh, to T cells and B cells, and create the, this uh, permanent activated uh, uh, immune dysregulation that on the clinical level we call chronic graft versus host disease.